I just finished an hour-long workshop for teachers at Camp Plug and Play in Tucson, Arizona. And the workshop is called Google Forms and Sheets. Teaching just got easier. Uh, you could take a screenshot if you'd like. Learninginhand.com slash easier are my notes from the session. And we have some people lingering around in the room. And I thought maybe it'd be a great way to wrap up and reflect and, and share what we've learned. So uh, what did you learn about Google Forms? I learned about add-ons and just different ways to make my life easier as a teacher. Had you used an add-on before? I had just learned about them this summer, but I've never actually employed them in my classroom. So. Yeah. And so the add-on we used today is probably the most popular one called Flubaroo. Yes. And can you tell us about Flubaroo? What, are, you, are you excited about it? Yeah, I am because because it's a really nice way to be able to collect all the data from assessments or assignments and get a really quick snapshot of what your students are doing, how they're doing. Yeah. And somebody's asking, are your, is your head exploding right now? Or it, it looks like it's intact. It's intact, but inside it's a little sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a great handout. Um, what, what, did, what did Tony Vincent give you when you came to the workshop? A sticker, yeah. When you come to my workshops, I always give stickers with a web handout. So uh, learninginhand.com slash easier. You've got it there. So what, what, was, what was a surprise to you about Google Forms tonight? Ooh, Google Forms. I think the buzzer was a surprise. Is that Google Forms? Yeah, yeah, that was a form. So <laughs> the, you guys got computers in front of you. Can one of you go to tonyv.me slash buzzer so we can show our 26 viewers how we did that. So what, what I demonstrated was if you wanted a classroom buzzer system to see who buzzed in first. Um, oh, tonyv.me slash buzz, I bet. That's what it is. I have a short URL uh, to it, tonyv.me slash buzz. And it's a, the simplest form you ever did see. There's a buzzer uh, picture, but then all it asks for is your name. And you don't, you, when you are about to ask a question verbally, students put their name in and they wait to click submit. And if they think they know the answer after it's asked, they click submit. And then on, on my end as the teacher, I can see who buzzed in first. So it's a makeshift buzzer system. That's one of the unexpected ways we use Google Forms. Yeah, that, that was fun. All right, how about over here? <laughs> What, what, what's your reflection about uh, spending an hour learning about Google Forms? I feel more comfortable with it now because I've never used Google Forms before. So yeah. I have a lot more to learn. <laughs> so you got to see me create a form live and then send it right out to you. Mm -hmm. I made it look a little easy probably, but so I've used it a lot. Back and play with it and try to figure it out on my own. Yeah. And you have a great handout to help you. <laughs> And the neat thing is, so many people love Google Forms. Like I said earlier, there, there are YouTube videos like crazy of demonstrations of, of how, to, how to use it. So, all right. Got anything to add to all this? No, they kind of took it all. <laughs> took it all? <laughs> hey, nobody mentioned word clouds. What did you think of that? Oh, I liked it. I like that they can personalize it and make it their own if I were to do it with a class. So yeah, so what, another how to uh, collect uh, text through a Google Form and then just copy that column of text and put it into one of a variety of word cloud generators. And you've instantly taken student, uh, student submissions and turned it into a cloud. Our person to pick on, Sarah Crawford. Uh, so what was unexpected for you tonight? The buzzer was my favorite because I like to play games. So I was really excited about the buzzer. Um, I also am interested to find out more about the other add-on super quiz that works a lot yeah. with Subaru. So I'm, I'm excited that I have this resource to come back to to explore on my own when I have more time. Excellent. Cool. For our pre-show, we had chocolate nachos, and they look like they are all gone. Were, did it, did, were every single? They, they're in your belly now. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, it's late here in Tucson. I think it's uh, 7.30 p.m. We had a little evening session, and all these teachers here at our, are at our week-long tech camp, and so they've uh, got more learning to do tomorrow. So I will see you later.